Hi guys and welcome to this video about using matrices to represent real world situations or applications. Now obviously the whole point of this course is a little bit real world and if you're going to do the further maths course later on it is hugely real world. Matrices actually have an application and if you hold a debit or a credit card then believe it or not you actually have a matrix in your pocket. That sounds a bit weird but anyway because what happens is all of your information believe it or not is encoded and kept in a matrix in your credit card. Ooh, mind blown. My name's Darren Maskaru. Thanks very much for joining me. If you can, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just let me know you're watching. And there is maskaru.com where you can sign up for free and there will be downloadable notes, ex textbook exercises. Uh, no, try that again. There'll be downloadable notes. There are time codes. There are exam questions. There's loads of stuff over there. And if I were you, I'd pause this video now, download the notes, write all over them, and jobs are good. And you can put them in your summary book if you're allowed, or at least they're there for your revision. All right, what are we doing? Understand how to use a matrix to model a real world practical situation. There's only one practical situation at this moment in time. It's a little bit of a sort of um, a, a teaser, as it were, for, for work that's coming a little lot, a lot later on. Okay, so in the last session we looked at some of the language we use for matrices. We had uh, order, row, column, element, square, how to use a CAS, to name but a few. All right, now all of that language is really, really important. But so is what we do in matrices. And we're actually going to use them today with a network diagram. Now, what on earth is a network diagram? Here we go. This is an example of a network diagram. And if you've used a computer, and the chances are you're using one now to watch this video, then it's connected to the internet, which is a huge network, right? And billions of devices connected and all of those connections. Now, luckily, we're not going to deal with billions of devices because that would be a fairly large um, matrix. We're just going to deal with three here. Now, again, when we deal with networks, for some reason, Barry's decided, let's change the language. We won't call it a point. We'll call it a vertex. Yay! And we won't call it a line. We'll call it an edge. All right. So these things here are vertices. So it's a vertex there. And obviously the plural is vertices, and that there, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call an edge. Go figure. Why is that going to be important to me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is my one and only example for this time being. Use the matrix to represent the connections. All right, so we have three different vertices, which could theoretically connect to all the other three vertices. So notice what I did there first. I did my column headings first, and then what did I do? That's it, then I drew the square. I've so many times in my life have I drawn the squares and then made it try and fit and it looks horrible. All right, so we've got A, B, and C. It says each element described the number of ways to travel directly from one town to another. Okay, so let's look at this first box here. That first thing there, what I'm gonna put there. How many ways are there to travel from A to A? Well, in this particular instance, if we had that way, it would be described by what we call a loop. Yeah, so that would be a connection that would basically go around in a loop. But because we can't get from A to A, I'm going to write zero. What about directly from B to B? Now, this is not passing through any other place. There are, in fact, going to be zero again. And C to C, there are zero. Now, again, notice the order in which I'm doing this. I tend to do all the A to A, B to B, C to Cs, and loops to get those first. Right, how many ways are there from going from A to B? There's one, right? Because I can just travel along there, and there's from A to B. Now, what do you notice? That's the same, then, from B to A. There's only one way from B to A. So this here has a little bit of symmetry. So if I've done A to B, I can then do B to A. What's the next one? A to C. From A to C, how many ways are there to go directly from A to C? There are none. And these need to be direct connections, which means there's got to be zero from C to A. All right, B to C, can you see? There are two ways. There are two ways to go from B to C, and so there must be two ways to go from C to B. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, I've now represented a network diagram um, to with a matrix, and let's call it N equals for network diagram and Kaching. Thank you very much. What information is given by the sum of the second column of the matrix? So there is my second column, and what does that mean? Well, the sum is going to be three. So basically, it means how many different ways there are to get to town or point B, how many connections there are directly to point B. And again, we can see that there's one, two, three connections, and ka -ching. Now, this was a really simple example, all right? <laughs> don't, please don't have a go at me. It was a lovely video to do, um, but there is more coming, uh, particularly in a later video. Anyway, I'm pretty much done with this. There is a little bit more coming in this video. Please stick around and watch it. If not, 
I'll see you again in another video. Thanks very much for watching guys. Yes, this is the end of another video. If you haven't already done so, can you click on my subscribe button? Yes, it doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I know that you are watching. Yes, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I feel like I'm sitting here just talking to myself. And then yes, there is mathsguru.com of which you can see a still of now. And what is over there? Well, all the videos ordered by textbook, ordered by topic. You can search for the videos. You can download notes time codes, exam questions, and so, so much more coming up. Yeah, it's absolutely free to join. So I'm done. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in another video. Give me a shout out to your mates if you can. I just want to make sure that everyone finds maths interesting and easy. All right, take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye. Stay safe.